Okay, folks, today is the 60th anniversary of McDonald's, and I did not know that until now. I was digging into the McDonald's, digging up gems through the website Wikipedia, and lo and behold, I discovered that today is the 60th anniversary of McDonald's. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. And we were led by the Holy Ghost there this morning, and we dug up all those gems, had an interview, and lo and behold, it's the 60th anniversary today, and 60 is king for the number three. So in honor of McDonald's 60th anniversary, <laughs> I have here two classic burgers, the Big Mac and the McDouble, <laughs> which we solved earlier today for the glory of the Triune God, and we're just going to go on a giant three fest right now. And I already went on a three fest, I got a ton sitting on the computer, I was digging, I went through the entire McDonald's history and scooped up gem after gem after gem for the glory of the Triune God. Today is the 60th anniversary though, April 15, and 15 is king for the number three, three times the third prime, and that was the original famous price of McDonald's hamburgers. A giant 15 at the top of the arch in all the original stores, 15 cents for the hamburger. 15, 15, 15, today is April 15th, it's the 60th anniversary, which is a multiple of 15, remember 60 equals holy, equals pure, equals pray, equals believe, equals desire, equals word, it is king for the number three, and this is all by divine ordinance that God has led us to McDonald's today. I had no idea it was the 60th anniversary of McDonald's today, but we were led by the Holy Ghost there, so now we're just on fire here. So, we solved McDouble earlier today. <laughs> We solved it earlier, but look at how much more there is on this package. I'm not joking, everything divides by three. I'm going to move fast, I'm going to be talking fast, because there's a lot to share. It's going to be in random order, but I just got to get it out there, okay? The current date and time is, of course, April 15th at 7.03 p.m., 2015 in Langley, British Columbia, Canada. Okay, and so look at this. McDouble, of course, divides by three, <laughs> by divine ordinance. 100% when you say it divides by 3, pure and beef both divide by 3. Pure beef divides by 3, 100% pure beef divides by 3. <laughs> and then twice as tasty, do the math yourself, that divides by 3 in 3 words. And then we solved I'm loving it earlier today divides by 3. So this entire wrapper is so screaming out 3's it's not even funny. 100% pure McDouble, twice as tasty, I'm loving it all divides by 3. <laughs> so, having done so in the name of Jesus, let us partake to the glory of the Triune God in a single bite. And remember, bite divides by three, single divides by three, so every single bite divides by three. Mmm. -hmm. More delicious than ever. Now that I know the numbers, it's that much more sublime. Okay. And now, Happy 60th, birth, happy 60th McDonald's, and now the Big Mac. <laughs> we solved the Big Mac earlier, but this is really going to blow your mind. Check out what's written on this box. <laughs> there is only one Big Mac. <laughs> Do the math yourself. This knits together perfectly with Big Mac to divide by three. The whole sentence divides by three. There is only one Big Mac divides by three to the glory of the Trinity. We solved the actual brand earlier a million times. So, and once again, like you can just have fun going around the sides. 100% pure beef, of course, that's the big claim that all divides by three. Um, and you can keep going and going and going. Um, so, in honor of having solved the famous Big Mac, oh yeah, and again, when you open these boxes, there's nothing, there's nothing there except for the name, Big Mac. So you take the glory for the name, you take the glory for the whole thing. And I got a really cool gem from World History, the original slogan, the original commercials of the Big Mac, where they do this real tongue twister, tongue twister type text that describes everything in the Big Mac, it's king for the number three. It's 33 times 23, which is the ninth prime. <laughs> 33 times 23, it's like divine for the number three. So in honor of having solved the Big Mac for the glory of the Trinity, and of course the Big Mac is the quintessential triple-decker sandwich because you've got three layers of bun. Very visible three fest. It's the most visible three fest at McDonald's there is with the three um, buns and the whole thing. So in honor, of the 60th anniversary to the glory of the Triune God, a bite of the world famous Big Mac. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A string of M's, a string of 13's for the glory of the Trinity. 
Never tasted better. Okay. So, oh man, that's good. <laughs> so now I'm going to rip through um, a whole bunch of gems from McDonald's history, shooting from the hip. I'm probably going to take you over to the computer. And, um, and, oh yeah, by the way, I was asked when I got my order at the drive-thru if I wanted to make a donation to Ronald McDonald House. And I said, sure. <laughs> sure divides by three. And I did so. Ronald McDonald House divides by three. That was one of the gems I discovered when I was digging through McDonald's history. And as a result of that discovery, when she asked me the question, I said, sure. And uh, here's my receipt, including the donations. So, I just want to record everything in world history because I'm conscious of God's sovereignty in all this. McDouble, Big Mac, donation. They just ask if you want to make a $1 donation, and you just say, sure. Simple does it. Um, and uh, so, let's, and we got these gems. Gut first, gut driven, 120. But this is McDonald's time right now. I'm going to leave that on the board for now. But, so do the math yourself. Ronald McDonald House divides by three. By the Von Norris, folks. This is the official, you know, the, the de facto donation arm of McDonald's. Okay, the M in front here. Well, you can just, McDonald, of course, divides by three. And then Ronald. Um, okay, just, just do the math on it, whatever. Okay. Um, and A, okay, put the D and E together. You can solve Ronald McDonald House. We're going to do this over at the computer. I'm just going to rattle off some really cool gems um, from the history of McDonald's. Some of the biggest, obvious threes from the history of McDonald's. And we're going to jump over to the computer and I'm going to relay a lot more. Um, so, first of all, the first franchise that is celebrated according to this date was in 1955, April 15th. We are exactly 60 years from that date. Um, uh, key names involved. I'm going to get those on the computer, but the big number was 15 cents. 15 is king for the number three. This was on the top of all the McDonald's. Remember, this story belongs to the triune God, and he makes sure he takes the glory for the whole thing using numbers. Okay? And so at the top of McDonald's signage, you know, in the early days, was just this giant number 15, 15 cent for a hamburger. And of course, the word hamburger divides by three, McDonald's divides by three, and yada, yada, yada. This is really cool. How much money was made? What was the revenue total? Details like this are king. You got to go, you go to the root, the very first, uh, the beginning of it all to get the most glory. Um, on the first day, which was 60 years ago today, so we're talking, it is April 15th today, okay, 60 years ago, this day, the revenue on opening day at this one McDonald's was $366.12. Well, if that doesn't scream out the number three, I don't know what does. <laughs> A 300 followed by 66 plus 12 cents, which divides by three, it's too obvious for the number three for the glory of the Trinity. And that number is officially recorded on the commemoration, I'm going to show you, McDonald's has produced a brief 60-year uh, commemoration poster with the golden arches. We saw the golden arches earlier, that was just loaded with threes. Um, and I encourage you to read the stories behind the whole thing. It just, it just blows your mind how God is sovereign and using all sorts of people and all this. Um, but those are two very, it's amazing how we remember numbers. It, uh, those are the, some two very key numbers. Uh, from the original story. The man who is responsible for most of McDonald's worldwide expansion in its early decades was Mr. Ray Kroc, whose full birth name, you must go to the full birth name, uh, I believe it's Raymond Albert Kroc, his full birth name divides by three beautifully, and there's a whole bunch of threes that we're going to grab in just a second. Um, I'm, I'm just about ready to take you over to the computer, in fact. Um, is there anything else I just want to grab right now? I think I'm ready to take you over to the computer and we're just going to harvest gems looking uh, on the website. I think we're basically ready to do that. Yeah, I think we're... Let's do that first. Um, there's a lot to get through and i got to eat my Big Mac and my McDouble. Um, but I... 
and I'm doing this for the glory of God and world history. So we're going to bring you over to the computer here so you can see um, we're going to go through the history of McDonald's and find obvious threes for the glory of the Trinity. That's how it works. So we're just, we just finished uploading our first videos on McDonald's terms and this was before those videos were produced before I knew that it was McDonald's 60th anniversary today. I did not get that until I did internet research on the history of McDonald's and all of a sudden I come to the point where I find that it's their 60th anniversary today. Um, so, okay, I'm just going to pull, pull you through a bunch of notes here. Um, pull you through a bunch of notes. It's their 60th anniversary. Where is the... Um, no, that's not what I wanted to watch. Where are we? Okay. So, <laughs> the gleaning of the harvest. This is going to blow your mind. So you understand that the entire story of God is an Easter egg hunt uh, for the number three in, in stunning detail. So this is McDonald's 60th anniversary. This is the official poster they have released as a brief history of the company. Um, and... To this day, of course, there are 36,000 restaurants and 69 million customers a day. I'm also very conscious that those two numbers, which they have printed on this official poster, both divide by three, screaming out the number three perfectly. Hello, 36,000, three, three, you know, three and six both divide by three, and then 69 million customers a day, three. <laughs> of course, the word million and the word customer divide by three, okay. Um, person divides by three, okay. So, I'm just going to, this is all in random order because there's so much to talk about. Um, here's the original. Now, if I could get a large view of this. Uh, I had a large view of it open. I'll bet you I can find one. Um, McDonald's 60th anniversary. Let's see if there's a big... Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Oh, please, open up for me here. Oh, why do people do this? View the image, please. There we go. Okay, so here it is in nice, large... So here it is. Um, now I'd just like to download this so I can... Oh, I did it. Download it. Uh, preview. Okay, so here it is. Back up. Close. Here we come. Here it is. Okay, so we'll blow this up. And we can zoom in as we need. So I'm just going to point out things from this poster initially. We're looking, you're treasure hunting for threes. It's really obvious. So you see the glory of the triune God. So this is spanning 60 years of history. Okay. Um, now this is kind of annoying that I can't even drag that higher without uh, zooming down. Well, I guess, you know, what I can do is I can sort of go like this. That's, that's as best as I can do. And I can tilt the video camera. <laughs> So, there you see, 1955. So look at the big 15 on top. And who's underneath that? A guy that's carrying a sign that says, I am speedy. <laughs> this is, this is going to blow your mind, folks. Why is he carrying a sign that says, I am speedy? Well, because I am speedy adds to 9 times 9 and 9 letters to the glory of the Trinity. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Perfectly. <laughs> I am speedy. <laughs> okay. Come back here. And of course, but the big, the big thing on top is the 15C. And what is the C? C equals 3. <laughs> okay. The word cent divides by 3. And uh, when you say 15 cents out of your mouth, that divides by 3. So I'm going to jump up to the text. I've already copied it all out. So 15 cents this is going to be interesting. Um, 15 cents is what comes out of your mouth. That's how it's spelled. And that phrase divides by 3 to the glory of the Trinity. 15 cents. It's beautiful. It divides by 21 as well. Number of letters glorifies 3. Strokes glorifies 3. It's king for the number 3. 15 cents. <laughs> that is 3 fest heaven. And of course, when you write 15 cents, you write a 15, which, which divides by 3. And then you write a C, which equals 3. So in every way, look what's at the top. Look who takes all the glory. Look what's above even the name McDonald's and even above the name Hamburger. Mr. 15. <laughs> For the glory of the triune God who ordained the center letter of Jehovah and the center letter of God to be O15, okay? So that's who takes the glory for this whole party. 
Okay, the golden arches, of course, arch divides by three, arches divides by three, golden arches divides by three. McDonald divides by three, hamburger divides by three. And amazingly, we have sold over blank, million, all divides by three. Million, every center letter divides by three, the book ends make three times three times three, and then over divides by three, and then we have sold the we and the sold knit together. The whole thing is just pure threes, <laughs> okay? So, and, and I really like this gem. That guy there, he's carrying a sign. Look, McDonald's even chose to put that on the top of this poster. In the top corner of this 60-year poster is none other than this character. It's holding a sign saying, I'm speedy. He's got a beef head. That's a patty for his head. <laughs> well, beef divides by three, head divides by three. Um, <laughs> Okay, patties, plural, okay, so all, so beef patties divides by three, but that sign says I'm speedy, which is uh, nine times nine in nine letters, by divine ornaments, folks, it just, so that's a big Easter egg right there, okay, um, okay, so that is huge, the big 15 on the original, 15 cents, and then so when you say 15 cent, yeah, so when you say 15 cent hamburgers, that divides by three. Okay, um, and Ray Kroc, even the age 52, a double of 26, which equals God, glorifies number three. And so there it is. First day sales were $366.12, which glorifies the number three. Done. Uh, you can even solve the name of the location and all that good stuff. Um, and first, first day divides by three, yada, yada. Okay, and then, good, okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. Good. So that's that's the big one right there, 15 right off the bat. Um, and then there's Hamburger University. Well, Hamburger and University both divide by three, so Hamburger University divides by three. It's also called Hamburger U, which then divides by three. I'm just going to walk you through Chicken McNuggets we solved today, and then the word new divides by three. Anything new and any word use of the word new glorifies the Trinity. So new Chicken McNuggets divides by three. That was in 1983, which year divides by three. That's one year after I was born. And we just solved that for the first time in world history today. Chicken McNuggets by Divine Ordnance equals a triple of love. So I'm just going to walk you through some of the big ones. You can scoop up more gold on your own time. Um, filet fish is a real three fest. F, F, O, all divide by three. Um, and uh, let's see. So there's the Big Mac. 1968. <whistles> wow. And we got one today. 1968. That number divides by three. <clears throat> You can solve who designed it, but there's there's the obvious three stacker. One, two, three levels in a burger. Very iconic. I mean, I don't know if any uh, burger chain had a three stack before McDonald's did. That's 1968. That's, that's probably the most famous three level burger there is in world history. So we had to buy one today on the 60th anniversary. Um, you can solve the characters at your will. Um, McDonald's at 60, celebrating 60 years of hamburger history, and hamburger and history both divide by three. So we're just going to eat this up. Of course, the letter M all by itself glorifies the number three. M equals 13, all factor three, and is the sixth prime double three. This is a fun one. This is a, f a fun one that I want to show you. Here's an original Big Mac poster, and if you watch the original commercials, they're really funny. They're all over YouTube, but they had an original jingle remember Jingle divides by three, where they describe what's inside a Big Mac. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onion, excuse me, onions, mm, ses onion sesame seed bun, onion sesame seed bun. And uh, they put that on the posters and Miracle of Miracles by Divine Ornans. If you do the math on that t string of text, it's gorgeous for the number three. I copied it into a document here. It's right down at the bottom because I just got it recently. I pulled it off of well, I don't know where, but it is accurate, and I checked it in multiple locations. Um, it adds to 33 times 23, and 23 is king for three because it's the ninth prime. And now you know why Michael Jordan wore 23 and all the other jerseys he ever wore divided by three by Divine Ornament. So <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait, no, I added the X. There's an X included in there. So there it is, 33 times 23. That's the official jingle for the Big Mac. That's a fun gem. That would be bonus points, I would say. Um, but it's also very obvious because it's fun. Um, uh, the drive through was first introduced in 1975, and interesting story that it was because of, I encourage you to find why. It's, a, it's an interesting story as to why 
the drive through came about is because there were soldiers that were not allowed to get out of their cars on a certain location where there was a McDonald's and so they had them drive through. It's, it's really wild. You're just like, really? So that's why we have a drive through. Um, the first Happy Meal. This was before I was born, 1979. I'm in 1982. The McRib came out the year I was born. Well, well, well. McRib is a glorious three fest. Uh, this is going to be a long video. It's going to be a fast video though. So McRib, where's the McRib text? Where are you? You can see I was just pulling gems out of McDonald's. The McRib. McRib is a super obvious gem for the number three because every center letter divides by three. Super obvious. And then the book ends it together to make um, 15, which divides by three. The, the famous 15 of McDonald's, no less. Or more, more, more appropriately, the famous 15 of God in world history. So look at that. The three center letters that divide by three add to 30 perfectly. <laughs> and then you flank that with 15 to get a triple of 15 in total. <laughs> it's too obvious, the McRib. <laughs> And then, and then everyone knows that the McRib comes and goes because it's a perennial limited time only sandwich. So you always see this on McDonald's signage. The McRib is back. <laughs> and that adds to one, two, three perfectly by divine ornaments. Okay? Because anything that is back divides by three. In fact, it equals McRib. So if there's one thing the McRib was born to do, it's come back. <laughs> and come back again and again and again. So McRib equals 45. Is back equals 45. The bumps it up to one, two, three perfectly. The McRib is back. <laughs> there you go. And that's since 1982. That's the year I was born. Man. And then these, these are all classified as either a sandwich or a hamburger. Well, the word hamburger and the word sandwich both divide by three exceedingly gloriously. Hamburger is 93 in nine letters and triple nine strokes. It doesn't get any more obvious for the number three. There's also three syllables to it. ham -ber -ger. The word sandwich, similar in glory as to pure threes, 81, okay? 81, three times three times three times three, okay? So these are big words we've just taken right off the bat for the number three, hamburger and sandwich. Now back to some spaghetti. And we solved I'm loving it earlier today. That is the official worldwide brand uh, motto of McDonald's. Worldwide, on every product now. And they're putting this on every single package. We saw it on the McDouble, all over the place. We saw it in both French and English on the Chicken McNuggets. We solved it in French, and but the English is the most glorious mathematically. It just hits it out of the park. Okay, and so that's, that's key. I mean, that is the letters underneath the golden arches. So the golden arches divides by three in three words. I'm loving it divides by three in three words. What happens if we put the golden arches together with I'm loving it? Um, we, there's I'm loving it equals one, two, three in nine letters, three words. And then the golden arches, um, excuse me, I want to make sure you're on camera here. So the golden arches equals 144. These are both kings for number three. So put them together and you get a triple of the 24th prime, a triple of triple eights in triple eight letters. That's good night. I mean, that's just screamingly glorious. So that's what we, we just summarized that. Okay. Um, Okay, Monopoly, right? First McDonald's. Uh, the first of anything. Remember the word first belongs to Jesus. First each adds to 72, a triple of triple eights. So the first of everything, no one uses the word first without glorifying Jesus equals eight at eight and the Trinity. Because first, the word adds to 72, a triple of triple eights. So anytime, this, this poster typically is commemorating firsts. <laughs> the first, the first, the first. Okay, well, Jesus takes the glory for the word first as the entire Trinity at large. So... Because remember, the people come and go, Jesus remains the CEO. That is the truth of all things. Um, <laughs> a mixed ski through. Well, ski divides by three, you know, there you go. It's, yeah, mixed ski, pretty easy. And so mixed ski parallels what we call McCafe, because cafe divides by three. So, um, And I'm just Wi Fi, Wi Fi is easy to solve. Oh, a Guinness World Record of any sort. A Guinness World Record of redheads. Red and head both divide by three. Redhead divides by three. Guinness World Record every word divides by three. The Triune God takes the glory for every Guinness World Record. Um, and then look at the number associated with the now, 2015. This is going to take your breath away. Look at there's one number on the poster. What is it? Oh, it's 120, <laughs> which is king for the number three and eight combined. Three digit all factor eight number divides by three perfectly. 120, exactly. God is right on time, right on schedule. 120 is a double of 60, pure threes. It's all perfect. It's all perfect. The numbers are all perfect to glorify the Trinity. And you can harvest even more from here. Um, oh, I wanted to point out the Ronald McDonald House. That is 1974. 
And that comes from the Shamrock Shake, which of course is based on who? Class St. Patrick. Saint divides by three, Patrick divides by three. He was a Christian missionary. <laughs> okay, there was called to Ireland, so it's all for Jesus. So the fact that the, the sales of the Shamrock Shake, which is stemmed from the root of St. Patrick, which is from Jesus Christ, of course, um, builds the first Ronald McDonald House. And today we donated one dollar to Ronald McDonald House when the kind young lady at the drive through asked us, would you like to donate one dollar today to Ronald McDonald House? And what was the word that came out of my mouth? Sure. Because sure divides by three perfectly. 24 plus 21 plus 18. Wow. Look at the glory of the word sure. I'm, I'm just preaching things in real time here. Look at the glory of the word sure. Sure, you can find um, 18, 21, 24. That's three numbers that divide by three going up in threes. Good night to make 63 a triple of 21. So the 21 is uh, right here in the U, the 18 is there in the R, and then the 24 wraps the whole package up. So literally, by the way, this is the same thing God ordained in the phrase pro-life, as in God is pro-life, where the bookends make uh, three points higher than the first letter, which divides by three, and then the next letters all divide by three going down. Okay, so the bookends of pro-life make 21, and then this is 18, then this is 15, then this is 12, then this is 9, then this is 6. The bookends of sure make 24, and then this is 18, and then this is, or this is 21, pardon me, and this is 18. So in both words, the bookends make three points higher than the numbers of the individual letters going from left to right. It's a miracle, okay? Pro-life is just exceptional because there's so many. 18, 15, 12, 9, 6. Every letter divides by 3 going down in 3's and then that's bookended with PE which is 21 which is 3 points higher than the first letter here 18. That's the same thing in shirt. 24 bookends, 3 points higher than the first letter 21 here then it goes down 3 to 18. Miracle. Just wanted to point that out to you and prove mathematically that God is pro-life. <laughs> which is to say he is against abortion. <laughs> which is to say North America needs to repent and we need to fix it right now. Okay, so um, so the first Ronald McDonald House. So let's do the math on Ronald McDonald House because that is a de facto charitable arm of McDonald's and God is all about love. God is love, okay? So God is equals love, remember that. So Ronald McDonald House, which we donated to today. Ronald McDonald House in three words adds to a double of 99. Good night for the number three. <laughs> and then you can add the word the in front if you want, the Ronald McDonald House. Um, by the way, the word charity divides by three as well. So you can talk about Ronald McDonald House charity. Charity divides by three, just like love, as it was translated in several English versions of the Bible. Charity suffereth long. Starting with C, which is three, followed by nine, triple three, followed by 18, a double of nine, followed by another nine, followed by 45. Can you find love and charity? Yeah, it's sitting in the last three letters, 54. <laughs> and that's prefixed by a bunch of threes and nines, starting with three. <laughs> You know, there's so many threes in the word charity, it's embarrassing. So now, Ronald McDonald House Charity. Divides by three, stick the word the in front to push it higher. Boom. Wow. <whistles> Sevenfold set of three times three times... Good night. There you go. So we've solved the Ronald McDonald House Charity. And then now, oh, we solve the first of everything. Remember, the word first equals 72, a triple of triple eights. Sound effect, please. First. Jesus Christ and the Triune God take the glory for the first of everything, because first equals 72. Equals cathedral. <laughs> equals ambulance equals world, equals money, <laughs> equals some of the biggest words in the story of God for 72 or triple of triple eights. The first, 72 or triple of triple eights, Jesus equals it, it takes the glory for the first of everything. So the first Ronald McDonald house, if you please. Wow, that adds to 303 perfectly. <laughs> to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, the Holy Ghost, the Triune God. That's accomplished in three times three times three letters. <laughs> the first Ronald McDonald house has now been proven mathematically for the glory of the Trinity. And you can just keep pushing yourself high off for the number three. And again, that was funded through Shamrock Shakes, which is based on St. Patrick, who is a Christian. And St. and Patrick both divide by three. So once again, Jesus takes the glory for all Ronald McDonald houses because they, not, they couldn't have been funded without Shamrock Shakes, which wouldn't have existed without St. Patrick's Day, which wouldn't, which wouldn't have existed without St. Patrick, with, who wouldn't have existed in his saintly story without Jesus Christ. Okay, who is God? <laughs> there you go. You always go to the root of everything. And you can solve the shamrock shake. It's very obvious for the number three. Okay. 
Um, very obvious. Let's solve the name, the shamrock shake. Well, the thing that's most obvious is the pair of SHs in the front. Shamrock shake. Well, why do we have SHs floating around in this universe? Well, it's because SH equals 27 to the perfect cube of 3. Done. SH is 3 times 3 times 3. Marriage couple made in heaven. Think of the, the curvy S-like lady and the, you know, hard H-like male. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, marriage couple. SH, 3 times 3 times 3. There you go. The first and second half of love. Okay, so already we're singing our heads off when you talk about a shamrock shake or a shamrock in general. <laughs> shamrock shake. It's like, what, what's, the, what's the whole thing that you're saying? What did they capitalize on? It's the SH, okay? SH, which is 27. So we're just going to bolden that right here. And as a, as a celebration of St. Patrick's Day green, we're going to put that in green. Shamrock shake. So already we found love. Okay, 27 here, 27 here, 27 plus 27 equals love. So we found love in every single shamrock shake that's ever been consumed, sold, and used as donated funds to uh, Ronald McDonald House. Okay, including the first one, which is the most important. The first of everything is the most important. By the way, that year also divides by three. 1974. 1974, you can check, divides by three, because 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 4 divides by three. Those four digits add to... 21, a sampled set of three. So that year also divides by three in reference to what class? Oh, Jesus Christ. All numbers reference Jesus Christ, who is the owner of all world history using numbers. Amen. Okay, so back to solving every shamrock shake in the history of the universe. I'm already happy. Look at the, the obvious parallelism they went for with the A's there. Okay, what's cool about that is you can get, well, let's jump to the grand total. Look, shamrock shake divides by three. <laughs> in fact, this is screamingly unbelievable. The hopscotch effect yields two equal teams, which equals 66, 66, which is the same phenomenon God ordained in the word oxygen, and the word breath, and the word nostrils. <laughs> All of these words um, get equal hopscotch effect, okay, dividing by three, by divine ordinance to the glory of the Trinity. So oxygen is two teams of 45, breath is two teams of 27, it equals love, nostrils is two teams of 63. Hopscotch effect is take every second letter, put it on one team, and then the other letters left over make the second team. You could also call it like a sewing machine pattern. Okay, I called it hopscotch because it's like you're skipping every letter and going on the same team. One, two, one, two, one, two. So two teams of 45 in oxygen, breath, nostrils. Well, that's exactly what we see in shamrock shake. There you go. The same God that ordains the word oxygen, ordained shamrock shake, ordained breath, ordained nostrils. And I find it divine that it was the Shamrock Shake, okay? Proceeds from sales of the Shamrock Shake in Philadelphia helped build the first Ronald McDonald House. <laughs> glory to the God who is love, okay? So, that's, that's exceedingly glorious, that e equal hopscotch effect. That's, um, now, this, this is crazy. I'm going to point out more to you here, uh, as we should. Okay, we're, we're going to put this on its own page here. Never forget, by way of review, I'm going to go through all of this, okay? I'm loving it equals 1, 2, 3. In French, 3 points less than 120, put them together 240, okay? Um, but, okay, let's not get away with the, the, the shamrock shake here. Watch this. It is also chain-linked and bookended to make multiples of 3. Chain links make 30 points. Bookends make 24 points. Miracle of miracles, that also adds to love perfectly. Folks, I'm going to have to go buy a shamrock shake, like, immediately if I keep seeing more of this. Look at that. That equals love number two. This is insane. This is, like, the most perfect set of letters ever put together. SH plus SH equals love. Well, SK is 30 plus 24 in green again equals love again. That's a miracle. So shamrock shake, love in the two HSs. Now, chain links and bookends, okay, knit together to make love again. 24 plus 30 equals love. Amazing. God has been leading us to find love equals 54 in all the terms we solve. That's a miracle. I'm already just blown away. Um, what else? Okay. Um, the obvious thing I wanted to, uh, excuse me, is a sham, shamrock shake. Let's see what else here. Just quickly. Center letter 
Well, the number of letters glorifies the number 3, same with strokes. 13 and 33, both obvious, 3 fest for the number 3. This is all factor 3 and the 6th prime, double 3. This is 33 and upset. <laughs> 3 times 11, which reduces to 3 by the law of prime. 11 is 5th prime, 5 is 3rd prime. And that leaves the center letter being C, which is 3. Because there's an odd number of letters, the center letter is 3. Let's just point that out right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the center letter of Shamrock Shake is 3. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know, what more do you want to point out for three in Shamrock Shake? <laughs> You're going to want to buy, go run down there and buy Shamrock Shake in the name of love, like, immediately. You know, if we align these suckers, I notice that the M and the K knit together to make 24 triple eight stacked on top of each other. All these three letters divide by three, and then you can put the A and the K together, okay, to make 12, and the A and the E together to make half of that six. That's a beautiful painting with alignment over the top and bottom okay obvious beautiful alignment so I'm happy enough you can dig in more see more shamrock shake has been solved now what if you put the in front um, then you also maintain chain linking right here so the shamrock shake you know just push it higher for number three and then you can say the only shamrock shake you know divides by three okay good very good okay so back to our story Wow, that was a satisfying gem. Very satisfying, especially with the whole story on um, the first Ronald McDonald house. Um, okay, let's let's solve the McSkee, <laughs> the McSkee through, because that's a fun one. Well, that parallels what God ordained in McCafe. Now we see McCafe everywhere. Well, there's a McSkee somewhere in the world. I believe that was in Sweden where they opened up a McSkee. Excuse me, I'm pulling you off camera. Um, it's the same phenomenon because the word cafe divides by three. And the word ski divides by three. By divine honor to the glory of the triune God. God owns all ski resorts. He owned, he invented skiing long before the foundation of the universe. Ski adds to 39 and three letters in third prime strokes. Three. <laughs> Cafe divides by three. Okay. 15. And then, so you're just putting the famous Mick in front of these things. Mick Cafe and Mick Ski. <laughs> three. M. 13. Three. This is 31. We solved that already. Wow. That's gorgeous for the number three. This is. Okay. This is five times 11. This is an all-factor five number, and five glorifies the number three being the third prime, and that's in five letters and in ten double five strokes. Too easy. Okay, five is the third prime, eleven is the fifth prime, and five is in terms of the third prime. So 55 screams out three. Done. Easy. That was a fun one. Um, so we solved the McSkee. <laughs> you got to go to Sweden and order some McNuggets while standing on your skis, and do so to the glory of the Trinity, and say, thank you, God, for your love, providing me this food. Thank you for designing and creating that person and designing and creating all the people that built the McSki and designing and creating my skis and thank you God for designing and creating the mountain and designing and creating snow and thank you Jesus for creating the sun and thank you Jesus for creating everything I've ever used. Amen. Okay, um, so um, a teeny beanie baby. Everything can be solved folks. Plus one that's insane. Okay, I'll leave you that one for homework. Um, so, I'm Loving It has been around since 2003. Beautiful. Okay. Wi-Fi is easy. By the way, um, free Wi-Fi divides by three, and we see that on signage everywhere. Like, that's the most common sign you see walking into stores now. In the name of love, Wi-Fi is easily solvable for three, but there's only one thing better than Wi-Fi, and that's free Wi-Fi. So, you see this everywhere free Wi-Fi you see that on the front of every McDonald's worldwide and there's a lot of them <laughs> so free Wi-Fi divides by three and it spells the word we this is so obvious free Wi-Fi if I put these up here you'll see how obvious it is because look at all the letters that divide by three I've just underlined them and then you're left over with we there done <laughs> free Wi-Fi solved in the name of love to the glory of the Trinity um, can you find love? Can you find 54 in free Wi-Fi? That is the question. Everyone wants to know. Um, <laughs> 33 plus you would need 21 points. Uh, yes, you can. Watch this. Let's let's find love right now in free Wi-Fi. I'm going to do it for you right now. Oh my goodness. This is too easy. Look at how glorious free Wi-Fi is in the name of love. It's going to be love plus half a love. 81, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Boom. I've just solved all free Wi-Fi in the name of love to the glory of the triune God who is love. So, look at this. All the letters that divide by three are bold underlined. 
you've got three left that are all plus two over a multiple of three to combine in four strokes apiece, four strokes for E's, for each E plus a W adds to 12 strokes. Okay, so look at that. The center three letters make 33 in three letters, 12 strokes, three, 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 okay? And then it's just a glory best, okay? So now that you've got 33 in the center, you need another 21 points to make love. Well, you can do that by combining six plus six plus nine to make 21. So there you go. I'm going to paint it all green now for more boldness. So all the green letters add to make love perfectly. Okay. And then you're left over with double nine plus nine. Well, every nine glorifies love, which is, of course, made of pure nines. So you've just added another half a love because I plus R equals 27, half a love. Love is composed of two halves of 27. So free Wi-Fi by divine ordinance is love plus half a love. Three times three times three times three to the glory of the triune God. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the only true God for all time, who take the glory for all things in world history using numbers. Because remember, everything has a name, and every name has a number, and God has ordained that all the numbers point to himself, day and night, round the clock, <laughs> while you sleep, while you wake. <laughs> and they'll keep doing so after you leave this planet, <laughs> okay? Let's make that thing clear. The story is for God. Okay, worship him today. So free Wi-Fi. And then as for Wi-Fi, that's really easy. Every single letter glorifies the number three. A W equals 23, which is the ninth prime, three times three. And then every other letter after that, which there are three, divides by three, being nine, six, nine. <laughs> Those three add to 24, which is one point higher than 23, which is triple eight perfectly. <laughs> Watch this now. This gets even better. The grand total, therefore, is 47, which is the 15th prime perfectly, which is, of course, three times the third prime. We've just solved all free Wi-Fi and all Wi-Fi, period, to the glory of the Trinity. Done. That took us less than two minutes, less than 30 seconds. In fact, it's the most efficient day I've ever had. Okay. So, done. That's a big gem from there. So, McDonald's offers free Wi-Fi at restaurants worldwide. That happened in 2010. I like this. Redhead Days Festival. That's an obvious gem because redhead divides by three. Let's just put it on the board so it's official. I'm going to try and just keep shimmying this. So I'm not rotating this camera so much, but um, it is fun to have the full control rather than a screen capture mechanism. Um, so I'm just going to move this around. Good fun. So red and head both divide by three. In fact, both divide by nine. It's really obvious in the name of love. There's two nines in the word head. H-A make nine and E-D make nine. So head equals 18, double nine. Red, similar concept. R is double nine. E-D again, just like in head, makes another nine. So red is triple nine. Head is double nine. Red head, five nines. And of course, that is what sets apart Mr. Ronald McDonald to the point where he has a Guinness World Record with a ton of red-headed people that show up around him on Redhead Days Festival in the Netherlands. By the way, the Netherlands divides by three. Um, and red-headed, of course, just adds another ED to this string of EDs you've already got going here. Adds another nine to bump it up to love perfectly. Wow, I was not aware of that. Red-headed adds to love perfectly in nine letters and triple nine strokes. You talk about nines. That's the most loaded nine fest of all time. Quick way of review in red-headed. Nine, 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 double nine as the first letter. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, red-headed, done. Red-headed equals love. Man, those are special people. So, um, Redhead Days Festival. I'm almost, wow, 2000, in the Netherlands. And of course, Netherlands divides by three. The Netherlands. And uh, Netherlands is uh, 120 exactly, the Netherlands 153, the number of fishes Jesus ordained his disciples to catch the third time he appeared after his resurrection. Wow, we're on a roll here. Um, okay, and um, by the way, <clears throat> Vietnam divides by three. They were proud of that, so McDonald's opens in Vietnam, uh, where they visit on scooters. Well, scooters divides by three, and Vietnam divides by three. Ready? Vietnam adds to 84. Very beautiful for three. And you can find love in Vietnam. 
doing the hopscotch effect. The computer already found it, 54, okay? So can you find love in Vietnam? Of course you can, and it's very beautiful and obvious. Look at this. You got 27, the first, the second half, the first half of love sitting right there, VE, and then just keep hopping. Then you get another 27 in NM. That is too divine. So Vietnam contains a pair of 27s in hopscotch effect to make love, and then the rest of the letters make 30 in three letters. Wow, that's smoking. Smoking, smoking, smoking. So Vietnam solved in the name of love. Okay, what else are we going to scoop up on this one poster? See how pleasurable this is? You could do that. You could be looking at this poster while you're eating McDonald's meal and just solving the entire universe together with God. I love the fact that this is a, just a blatant early days gem that they just pasted in the top corner. That text adds to nine times nine and nine letters. Too obvious. Divine ordinance. Um, okay, I love that we solved the Big Mac motto. Um, okay. Um, Cool, I'm happy with that. Oh, by the way, here's a gem from drive through Now we have the phenomenon called any lane, any time. And I wrote this one down when I went there today because I remember doing the math on it earlier. Any lane, any time. <laughs> by divine ordinance, it divides by three, okay? Any lane, any time. <laughs> At McDonald's today. Any lane, any time, watch this. In fact, both phrases divide by three. So any lane, first of all, ah, let's jump to the kisser. What is the grand total? 159 divides by three. Now, but each phrase divides by three. So any lane equals 72, a triple of triple eights. That's, wow. And then any time is 87, which equals truth. So these are both great for the number three. Just superb. Any lane, any time, solved. And at the particular mon uh, McDonald's I went through, and it must be most of their new, because they redid all their drive throughs What's the big number that everyone has to drive underneath in order to get through? Well, a nine feet clearance. Nine feet is the clearance, the official clearance. Well, that's obviously king for the number three. And by the way, when you say nine feet, that divides by three because nine and feet both divide by three. Nine is 42, feet is 36, nine feet equals 78. <laughs> With equal hopscotch effects. Miracle of miracles, that's the same phenomenon as oxygen and all those other screaming things we just saw. Nine feet. That's the official clearance that you must drive under. No one gets into the McDonald's drive through without driving underneath the number nine, which stands for nine feet. In these two tiny little emblems, nine feet. In that tiny little symbol, nine feet is pure threes. So no one drives into the McDonald's drive through without passing underneath this higher than they are nine feet bar to the glory of the Trinity. So no one can even move into the drive through They can't even get to the order here sign without going beneath the number three, day and night. <laughs> 24 hours, triple eight, okay. So this is by divine ordinance to the glory of the CEO of all CEOs, Jesus Christ, and the Trinity at large. Okay, so, um, and then you arrive at a sign that says order here. Well, both words divide by three. Full of nine, so many nines, it's not even funny. Double nine, double nine, double nine, H-E-E, -E, double nine, D-E, nine, O, God's favorite letter. Order here, 96. Sound effect, please. 96 divides by 8, 12, and 24, and nine letters, triple nine strokes. And that is the official text that is printed on every...